Periodic means times or multiply, and zero, of course, is the result of multiplying these two quantities together. So usually you'll see that it's written in your textbook as a times b equals zero. And what it means is that either a is zero, because zero times anything is zero, or b is zero, because zero times anything is zero, or they're both zero, okay? So, so by working backwards, what we can do is we can say, well, okay, if we know that this quantity is zero, or this quantity is a zero, or they're both, what we're going to do is we're just going to take each group, because you can see these groups are multiplied together, that's the product, and we're going to set each of them equal to zero. So x plus 2 equals zero, or x minus 3 equals zero. Now if we add 3 to both sides, we're just solving these little mini equations here, x equals 3, or if we subtract 2 from both sides, we get x equals negative 2. So these are the two solutions to this equation. Now they don't always give it to you like this in factored form, they'll give it to you maybe like as a polynomial or a trinomial like this, and what we want to do is we want to factor it first so that it's a product of two factors, and because it's equal to zero, we can use the zero product property to solve by setting each group to zero. So what we're going to do here is we're going to factor this first, and you can see, okay, what multiplies to negative 12? That's negative 4 and positive 3, and let's just double check. Negative 4x and positive 3x, that's negative 1x, right? And x times x is x squared, so we know we have it factored correctly. All we have to do now is set each group equal to zero. So you have x minus four equals zero, or x plus three equals zero. So you can see if we add four to both sides, we get x equals four, or if we subtract three from both sides, we get x equals negative three. So again, the zero product property is very easy. It sounds a little bit mysterious, but all you're doing is you're factoring, or if it's already factored, by setting each group equal to zero, you can then solve your equation. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with it better. Uh, subscribe to the channel, check out more math videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.